In this video, I'll demonstrate a tutorial on how to upload code for the WT32 ETH01 board in the Arduino IDE. I'll be using a TTL to USB adapter commonly used for uploading code to the ESP01 board. Other components include a micro USB power adapter, jumper cables, and an Ethernet cable for network communication using Ethernet connection. This is the wiring between the pins on the TTL to USB adapter and the WT32 ETH01 board when uploading code in the Arduino IDE. This method is an improvement from my previous video regarding how to upload code to the WT32 ETH01 in the Arduino IDE, which utilized a different TTL to USB adapter. This is the setup once connected with jumper cables between the TTL to USB adapter and the board. It's ready to be plugged into the computer and undergo the uploading process. This wiring is only used during the code uploading process. Do not connect any other pins during the upload process. In the Arduino IDE, first install the library used for Ethernet connection. In the Library Manager, search for the library named Web Server WT32 ETH01, then proceed to install the library. After the library is installed, now let's open the example files within the library. In this video, I'll try the example code named Web Server. In this web server example code, change the IP address for the board according to the IP address settings on your network. In this example, I'll change it to 192.168.0.232. Next, before uploading, select the board. In this case, choose ESP32 and then select ESP32 dev module. Also, make sure to choose the correct port for this board. After configuring the board, click the upload button, and wait for the upload process to finish. Once the uploading is complete, disconnect all connections, and use a micro USB power adapter to power the board by connecting it to the 5 volts and ground pins. After the upload process, and the board has been connected to the micro USB power adapter, and the Ethernet cable is plugged from the board to the computer. Next, let's check the connection to see if the board has successfully connected to the network with the configured IP address using the ping command and the command prompt. We can verify the board's network connection by using the ping command. Now let's try accessing the web server by entering the IP address in the browser and we should see that the web server is successfully connected. Thank you for watching, hopefully this tutorial is helpful for uploading code to the WT32 ETH01 board in the Arduino IDE. See you in the next video.